Welcome back for more Ocarina of Time. I figure I'd start with, by showing you... Wait a minute, why am I starting here? <laughs> We've already seen this animation! Why do I feel like this is a new animation? It's not! I guess I might as well say, since we're already over here doing that scene, I could swear that there was a way you could speed that scene up. You know, like, you just press A to skip it. But, uh, I don't think there ever is. I don't think any version has that as an option. So, what am I thinking? Recoup some of my losses. Huh, you can block that so you don't take any damage from it. What's up, Navi? Have you ever played the Nocturne of Shadow that she taught you? I mean, yeah, I have, but I don't know if I'm gonna show those clips. Not, not particularly important. <laughs> go backwards. Gonna go ahead and nab a fairy since we got spare bottles. And by bottles, I mean one. Yes, I'm still hanging on to the blue flyer. I have a plan for it. Don't worry. Well, since we did do this last episode, I might as well show this off. Uh, there you go again. Play Scarecrow's song. Maybe gonna be over here. Pierre? You're supposed to be there! So I actually wanna... Could you roll? I actually wanna get something before we actually take on the Shadow Temple. You know, the thing I forgot to get before the Water Temple. Might as well get that out of the way now, so we actually have time to do anything with it. And Kujiro crows when we come into the Lost Woods. And the reason being... There's a sleeping guy! Might as well wake him up! Kujiro? Why? Normally only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means... You... You must be a nice guy. Must be! You must be! Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please! Deliver this stuff to the old hag at the potion shop, the Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take too long. So you gotta hurry. Okay. <laughs> Two options were okay and I can't. You got an old mushroom. A fresh mushroom like this is sure to spoil. Take it to the Kakariko Potion Shop quickly. Oh, I forgot this part's timed. Okay, so we gotta take this to the potion shop quickly. And can't warp or else the time immediately expires, which is kind of rude, but oh well. Actually, I'm not sure if you can take the warp to, you know, um, Goron City. I, I don't think that counts as warping. I think it's only warp songs. But it's, you know, knock on wood, it's three minutes. We should, we should have this. Yeah, we got this. A solid minute left. Here, lady at the potion shop. Okay, uh, speak. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What a mysterious smell. You must have something. So, right that way. Yep, take it. That bum. He had to go into the forest. I see. Hey, give it to me now. If you see that fool, give this to him. It's the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. We received an odd potion. What's odd about it? The fact that it's not in a bottle? It's not liquid? You don't know what this what you don't know what's going on between this lady and that guy. But take it to the lost woods. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. No kidding. You sell blue potions yet, or am I thinking of something else? You never actually show- 
Do you never actually sell potions? I don't even remember. Oh, the long shot works on him. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Mido's still over here. Oh, I see. Sorry, I won't ever come back. But I... I made a promise to Saria. If Link came back, I would be sure to tell him that Saria had been waiting for him. Because Saria... really... liked... Hey, you! If you say... If you see him somewhere, please let him know. And also... I'm sorry for being mean to him. Tell him that, too. <laughs> Why was that off-center? That's pretty nice. I didn't realize Mido had that dialogue. And the guy's gone. The guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will become lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody? Stalfos. So, he's not here anymore. Okay, well then, here. You take the medicine. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody comes into the forest... He's just repeating himself. I already got this dialogue, come on! Let's take... Take the medicine. So he's not here anymore. Only a saw is left. Mm -hmm. That medicine in this is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back! Okay, I, I guess. I don't know why Kokiri cares that much about the forest. They're like, hey, you can't take the mushrooms. Give it back! We were taking the odd potion and got the poacher's saw. That the young punk guy must have left this behind. That's what she said. Are you going to be two? Hee <laughs> hee. Hmm. Well, I don't suppose there's much of a hint as to what to do with this poacher saw. But I guess we could go see if there's anyone who needs a saw. Ha! <laughs> see! Saw! It's funny! So if you're like me, and you're thinking, Oh, saw. There were carpenters in Kakariko Village. Why don't we go look for those guys? Well, turns out they're not in Kakariko Village anymore. But I do know where they are now, so we're gonna go see them. Haven't given much of a mention to this area yet, but there's this portion over here that gets a little dry and a little rocky. A little red. Kind of reminds me of what the Deku Tree was telling us about the origins of the world. You know, before Nehru and Ferore did their things, you know, how the world looked when it was just Din. Hang on. We can't go in here with it being night. Everybody knows that. Carpenters are over here, hanging out by the fan favorite music theme, Girardeau Valley. We want to come along this giant plank that's not an actual bridge for some reason. I see that the bridge, which we could have seen this as a kid, but uh, I never gave that a thought. Maybe I'll come do that eventually. And what we're doing 100% just look at that dialogue that's, that's here. I just got a hook shot across the bridge. Or you could jump with a pona, but I didn't get enough I didn't get enough speed for that. Oops. He is the carpenter, the leader anyway. I am the master craftsman. Those Gerudo thieves. They broke the bridge. I want to fix it, but all of my workers are gone. They said working as carpenters isn't cool, and they went to Gerudo's fortress to become thieves. Hey you! If you go into the fortress, would you mind finding out what my workers are doing over there? They're probably training to be thieves. Just said. I'm not going there yet. Hey, that saw! It's mine! But, I thought I left it. That saw with my old lady. Oh well. So is your old lady the potion lady? Who gave it to the punk guy? I don't know. My bigger on tool broke, so I was going to Goron City to get it repaired. You're coming here, it's great timing. Will you give me my saw? Okay. Good kid. Thanks! I'm sorry I can't give you something that as good in return, but take this anyway. You traded the poacher's saw for a broken Goron sword. There's a Biggeron to get it repaired. Well, good thing we happen to have come across Biggeron. Hey, buddy, you're gonna be fine over there? She'll be fine. We can come in here and check out this grown magic bean spot. Or sprout, or whatever. You know, 
I mean, I was thinking, you know, we put it in the spot, but, you know, it is a sprout. And it grew, so I guess it's not really a sprout anymore. Anyway, piece of heart. Is it back in its original spot now? Ow. There we go. Okay. Should be able to take us over there, too. Over by that piece of heart that I forgot to get. Could have gotten it way sooner. You can actually get that as Young Link. I mean, you know, you have to have enough heart containers already to be able to resist the heat for long enough to get that. And there we go. Collected three pieces! And look at that, plenty of time left. We're just gonna waltz on out of here. We're gonna saunter on out of here. This is a different recording session, so hopefully I won't use the word saunter as much. Hey, bigger on! Oh, his eyes. They were all scrunched up. Can you fix this? That broken knife is surely at my work. I really want to repair it, but... But because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. There are fine eye drops in Zora's domain. You will find them if you go see King Zora. Please go get the eye drops. Okay. You checked in the broken Goron's sword and received the prescription. Go see King Zora. Okay. I don't have a warp song to go over there with so I can walk. He's still up there rubbing his eyes. Can't believe that. While I'm passing through Kakariko Village, I figure I'll get this. I keep forgetting to get this. I think you need the long shot to get up here, but it's probably easier ways. Well, I guess I did explain that, you know, you can jump off the tower, but I didn't want to do that. Hey, good to see you again. I'll give you this as a memento. Fourth piece of heart. Now we got 13 hearts. And actually, I guess there is a fun fact about, you know, jumping off the tower to get this early. It actually works as a kid. So you can come up here and you'll be like, hey, great to see you again. So I actually don't know if that's supposed to be intentional and they just never gave you a way to get up there as Young Link. Or if it really is just like a coding error of like, oh, well, we don't expect you to be able to get up here as Young Link. You're not supposed to, so we didn't program a way to prevent that from happening. I was going to call Epona. She can't help us get to where we're going. Where we're going, we don't need horses. We also can't get there on horseback, because she won't swim. Oh, miss me! Missed again! Oh, I hear a gold skull chiller. And there it is. Get it before Debbie comes! Yeah, so the skull chiller actually will disappear. Once it becomes day, you know, right, right at the crack of dawn. But as long as you kill it first, you got plenty of time to get the token. You know, oddly, I find this music is still kind of fitting even when Zora's domain is frozen over. Somehow I... It still sounds... It, it's, it sounds kind of wintry to me. I don't know why. Oh. This is... Well... Hmm. Hmm. Eye drops. You might say we have them. You might say we don't. Well, do you or don't you? We do have the ingredients. If you take the ingredients to the doctor at the lake laboratory, he can make the drops for you. But you need to deliver them fresh. Can you make it before they spoil? Probably. Here we see. You used the prescription and received an eyeball frog. <laughs> eyeball frog. Be quick and deliver it to Lake Hylia while it's cold. Uh, we gotta run again. This one's gonna be a little harder. Especially because they froze off the shortcut that you can use to get there. Which is probably why that shortcut never opens up. No, don't check that. It's too bad you can't just follow the flow of the water. You can't actually follow it all the way to Lake Hylia. That would be a fun way to do this, though. To just jump in the stream and swim as fast as you can. Now, 
Now, when I used to do this before, you know, before I got a little smarter and realized that there's a better way, I used to go around, like, along here. But as you can see, the way I'm going now is more straightforward. You get out of here, we're not doing you yet. Now for the hard part, jumping over the fence with a pony. There we go. <laughs> I haven't got this yet, because I haven't come from that entrance yet. As, as any Link yet, I think. Yet. <laughs> and we gave the eyeball frog to the guy. Oh, wow! I haven't seen an eyeball frog like this since Zora's Domain froze over. These eyeballs are so delicious! Tonight I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. <laughs> Such a great gift. Please say thank you to King Zora. Eh? What? There's a f we're making bigger on eye drops. <laughs> he stops wiggling. He's no longer excited. Oh, how disappointing. You, sh you should have said so in the first place. You didn't give me a chance. Here it is. This medicine doesn't have any preservatives in it. Well, why not? So it won't last long at this temperature. Run as fast as you can to Death Mountain. You're young. You can do it. You traded the eyeball frog for the world's finest eye drops. Hurry, take them the bigger on before they go bad. Now, I know I already said that warping spoils things, but I think... I think there's actually a, a little trick we can do here. If we warp to Death Mountain Crater without the Goron's tunic on, we'll get the same. Oh, it's too hot here. You you gotta you gotta put on your Goron tunic. You can't stay here long. And the timer overrides the eyeball time the the eye drop timer. Oh no, time's up. The thing you were going to deliver is spoiled. <sighs> so unfortunately, right the moment you step foot outside Death Mountain Crater, it spoils. And when the, the eye drops spoil, you gotta redo the part with the eyeball frog as well. This is why I put a little sneaky and I did the save state. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't sure that, that trick was gonna work. Oh wow, I haven't seen an eyeball like that since like two minutes ago when you came here before. I can't speed this dialogue up. Uh, shut up already, just give me eyeball drops. Okay, for real this time. So what I, what I like to do during this side quest is plant that magic beam there first so that you can ride this all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about that time I saw a deer again. Right up here. Save yourself... I don't actually know how long, but, you know, time. Certainly effort, too. But now for the hard part. The wall. Full of wall skull chillas. Ah, you can't hookshot it. Ah. Okay, fine, I'll shoot you. Wow, Z-Targeting sure does make that easy. Why have I never done that? 
Why do I usually not do that? I usually just aim manually. I also remember there being more tech tights on up on this ledge. Apparently just the one. There we go. We got 47 seconds left. Eyeball... I keep calling them eyeball drops. Eye drop delivery! Really? You brought me the eye drops? I'm so relieved! I'm gonna use them right now! Wow! This is stimulating! It's working great! Now I can get back to my blade business. My work is the very consist. My work is not very consistent, so I'll give this to you so I won't forget. After a few days, please return. Wait, just patient. Wait, just wait patiently. You get a claim check. Oh, sorry, the bigger on sword. You got a claim check for it. You can't wait for the sword to be completed. And I'll just do the usual thing, and I'll just play this song a few times. I think it's like three in-game days you gotta wait. I'm not ready to go to the Shadow Temple yet, Navi. Not yet. Hey, you. You are impatient. <laughs> just wanted to show what happens when you do that before the sword is ready. What's funny is we're both standing here, watching each other. And we're not fast-forwarding... Not necessarily fast-forwarding time, just making day change. So, technically, it hasn't been three days, and I haven't seen Big Ron move an inch. Or I guess a foot in his case. That sword is my finest work. And there we go. You handed, the, you handed in the claim check and got the Big Ron sword. This blade was forged by a master smith and won't break. Yes, yeah, so that part there is actually referring to... You can find Meteoron in Goron City and buy a version of the sword that breaks with, like, one hit. But now we've got a long sword. Woo! It deals twice as much damage at the cost of not being able to use your shield. It's like we're a kid again. Thanks for the sword, Bigoron. Hmm. Is there anything else important to say about the sword? Yeah, disappointingly, I found a mod for uh, Blade and Sorcery that has Zelda weapons in it. But, well, for one thing, that I don't think they're really scaled in size properly. Some of the, the other weapons feel a little too big or too thick sometimes. And the most disappointing one is it does have the bigger on sword, but its its blade is in a weird shape. Although I guess it's maybe more of the, the canonical shape based on art, you know. Official art. I was going to say fan art. Like, no, the other thing. Official art. And it's also really small. So it, it doesn't... It, it's not the size of a human being's body. You know, the average length of the average adult, like this sword is. So that makes me sad. Especially because the weapon pack is heavy on Breath of the Wild weapons, and I'm not big on Breath of the Wild. So now that claim check is just going to sit in our inventory. It's a fun fact about Blue Fire. It can break bombable walls. Is there more? No, I don't think there's more. Oh, there is more. Yeah, I don't really get that. I don't I don't understand why Blue Fire is programmed to be able to its programming says it can break bombable walls. Because it's not like you can melt red ice with bombs. It's not like they're the same. You know, it's not like they act the same. So that's a really weird science fact for you. There's your second portal reference. Before we end, I just wanted to show off Meteoron. Here's the guy who sells you the sword that will break within a few hits. How do you like the feel of it? Oh, I guess he's talking to us like we bought the sword. Weird. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one where we actually do take on the Shadow Temple. Bye.